Like, he's, he's like, you have minutes to live. Oh, <laughs> Jack <Jackie Cruz, laughs> Leave us behind. <laughs> what if it's just another, like another cheese? Where did that guy come from? <laughs> Sorry for getting in your oh, space, space. Rory, but Sorry. I want to duck. They added so many balconies, so much living room space, so little bedrooms. Yeah. This is the WKU XC trip. Everybody say hi to the vlog. Hi. The bears are oh, sorry. Hello. Have a vlog. Oh, we have Hey, bears can climb. Yeah, bears. Get this on your vlog, Maddie. Get this off here. I don't think I understand. I was trying to read it from inside. It stops here. We can be an old couple. In a rocking chair. Room tour. This is the girls' room. One of them. They're sad. Bathroom. Vlogging. Also, our fridge doesn't work. There's no water. The fridge in the house? Is right. I think that was gonna run. Oh, we can drive that was very good. Actually, I had to find the ride. Oh, did it rain now? I thought it was some kind of this stuff. That's really pretty. Uh, that looks kind of dangerous. Yeah. Oh, nope. down. oh my god. Oh my gosh, in my hometown, one time one of the power was like grilling on the stove too or something. Yeah, because that grill is like the size of my own. This is the greatest camp of my life. What a great camp! No one gets to eat. I'm making a vlog. About, how we about the whole trip, and so this just really adds to it. No I got that. At least the view's pretty. That's all that matters. Oh my god. This is for the vlog. Where is it? How close are you? Oh, it's a close oh, the hill. It's up the hill. He was in the parking lot. The ranger said he was 350 pounds, the largest I've ever seen. Not too down. Okay, so. They told me to keep the dog quiet. This is not tuned in. Oh, okay. We were right, like, that was too scary. That was too close. Oh man. That's good. That's good. I'll get in it. Tell us what you gotta say. Oh my god. <laughs> Heather's been attacked by Grease. But she's Burger God over here. I am the Burger God. And Shaft's taking over my job, but that's okay because I've obviously not been doing it. Mary. This is a vlog. Don't eat the you guys say something in the vlog? Hello. I like that. <laughs> Do
Biscuits. Blood Clay, say hi. Biscuits. And they're still Biscuits. Are we actually doing that? One of my experience with the girl. Your experience being... Okay. Well... I was sick. And they were like, I don't know, Brandon, you guys just gotta figure this out. Luckily, it wasn't love. If you don't know, in Appalachia, what they've got is feral people. The people who just live in the woods. I don't really know why. I don't really know their history. And this is probably an offensive story to make fun of. <laughs> but, I think that they just live in the woods. Like I said, I don't know much about them. Anyway. My parents dropped me off in the woods and they were like, just figure it out. I was out there, you know, crying because I was six years old. I was alone and I was cold and I was hungry. But next thing I know, this man comes walking out of the woods, butt ass naked, right? And at first I'm like, something about this doesn't seem right, but like I said, I'm six years old. He looks at me, he makes like this growling noise and I'm like, oh holy shit, I'm about to get my throat ripped out by this wolf man. Takes me up, takes me back to this village. Village is a loose term. They didn't have homes. It was just piles of sticks in a circle. They all slept in together. None of them were wearing clothes. None of them spoke any English. I was six years old. I had a rudimentary grasp on the English language. Had no idea what they meant by all their barks and growls and stuff. Anyway, next thing I know, I'm hunting down farmers who are left out too late in their farms, eating them for dinner, and killing their families for sport. It's a weird situation to be in, alright? I'm there for like six years. Eventually, I stopped speaking English. I'm talking to all little growls and barks and stuff. One day, a uh, dude comes out of the woods, fully clothed. At this point, I'm like, something's not right with that. Isn't it funny how things change? Anyway, like I said, I'm 12 years old. He looks at me, he's like, why do you look like you've never eaten in your life? And I'm like, I did it that! Talk. Anyway, long story short, I get picked up by CPS, put me in this foster system, next thing I know, I'm back in regular school. Here's the issue though, I keep trying to scratch out my classmates' eyes. I end up in juvie for a couple of years, bada bing bada boom, get out, start working at a coal mine. Here I am today, as healthy as could be, a couple cases of black lungs, might have got rabies from the feral people out in the woods, and that's just how it is.